Scientists claim a cancer therapy involving T cells has had extraordinary results on terminally ill patients. The new T cell treatment involves taking a patient's own immune cells and reprogramming them to attack tumors. Jonathan Samuels from Britain's Sky News reports. Karen Gingell is still in hospital. She's just had a double mastectomy. She got breast cancer while pregnant with her first son. She thought she'd recovered, only to learn during her second pregnancy the cancer had returned. He didn't expect to say it, but um, he was sorry that it was back again. So the first thing I said to him was, um, does that mean I'm going to lose the baby? But yeah, he, he said straight away that, no, that's not going to happen. And I said, if I really got to go through this all over again. But what if people like Karen didn't have to fear cancer would come back and could use their own immune system to beat it? These researchers in the States believe that could happen. They used genetically modified cells on 35 terminally ill patients with leukaemia. A remarkable 94% of them went into remission. We're taking patients who have failed all other types of chemotherapy and even transplants, even stem cell transplants. Uh, and we're treating those patients with just a single treatment of T cells um, and eradicating uh, massive amounts of, of tumor in their body. The technique involves removing immune cells called T cells from the patient's body. The white blood cells are modified with molecules from genetically engineered mice known as chimeric antigen receptors or CARs. They are then infused back into the body. The CARs molecules reduce the ability of tumours to shield themselves from the patient's natural immune system, allowing the T cells to attack. A similar technique was recently used in the UK for the first time to save the life of one-year-old leukaemia patient Layla Richards. We are excited because uh, for the first time we're seeing larger numbers of patients coming through and, and seeing the same effects we saw in the small numbers that were initially treated. Another trial in Italy saw modified T cells remain in the body for 14 years. The hope is cancer could eventually be kept at bay over a lifetime. It sounds absolutely remarkable. Um, I'm sure it does come with terrible side effects. So you'd have to weigh that up, I suppose, if there are risks involved, how likely those risks are you know, going to be there. But um, no, of course, like anything at all that could guarantee that nothing was going to come back, I can't imagine anyone would ever refuse that. The T-cell treatment works best with blood cancers rather than tumours like Karen's and can have big side effects. But it's another major step forward in tackling a disease which is so devastating. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Bristol. Dr. Michael Grossbard from the Perlmutter Cancer Center is here. He specializes in leukemia, lymphoma, and oncology. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Uh, let me just ask you about these test results. How significant are they? Are they really extraordinary? Oncologists are reluctant to use the word extraordinary, but these are extraordinary. These are really remarkable findings that have a significant response for patients. Can you give us just an overview of the studies and the results? Sure. These studies were conducted in patients with a type of leukemia called acute lymphoblastic leukemia and a type of lymphoma called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And what was done was that a type of blood cell in the body, a T cell, a natural type of cell, was re-engineered and tricked into fighting that cancer so that patients who previously had failed conventional therapies were able to have very significant responses to these treatments. I mean, it sounds remarkable, but to be clear, this isn't a cure for all forms of cancer, right? It's reserved for the most extreme cases right now, but will it be available to more people as time goes on? There are side effects associated with this, and presently it's only being used in patients who have exhausted other forms of therapy, but the hope is that as we go forward, this will be available in more types of leukemia, lymphoma, and even what we call solid tumors. And so um, when would you expect, when you look at sort of like the landscape of where cancer research is right now, um, how 
quickly do you think this kind of therapy, this kind of treatment um, might be more widely used? Are we talking about weeks, years, you know, weeks, months, years, you think? The original reports of this therapy go back about three years now, and there have been very significant advances even in that time span. I would expect that there should be some major advances that are applicable to a broader number of patients within the next three to five years. Wow, okay, a significant time frame there. All right, Dr. Michael Grossberg, thank you so much. You're welcome.